What's up, Met fans? Welcome back. Talking Mets to Rob. How's everybody doing? Before I get started about talking about the National League East pitching rotation ranks, don't forget, guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash on that like button. If you enjoy all my content, all my videos, want to get notified when I go live and when I post my videos, hit on that subscribe button, everybody. All right, guys. So the National League East pitching rotation ranks. It will be about projected ERA and what are they ranked within the NL East from number fifth rank all the way down to number one. When I looked into this, when it came to projected ERAs, I looked at three different sites. I looked at RotoChamp, MLB.com, and ESPN. I took those rotation ERA projected numbers, and I divided them into what this ERA that we'll be looking at for each of the five teams in the NL East and their projected ERA for 2021. And then I ranked them. So what I did was take those three websites, took those numbers, crunched them, and then came up with a projected number for those three those three websites and use that for the projected ERA for each team in 2021. Some of it was pretty close. It's very interesting. That's why I'm doing this video. So we're going to start right now. And the first team that is ranked fifth in the National League East in pitcher rotation rank is the Philadelphia Phillies. Now, they're are one of the teams that they're an enigma. Their bullpen was bad. They felt like their offense could have been pretty good. But overall, they comp they all struggled as a whole, as a team. But the Philadelphia Phillies rotation projected by these three team by these three websites shows that these are the start the five starters that are projected to start in this rotation. It is Aaron Nola, Zach Wheeler, Vincent Velasquez. Zach Eflin, and Spencer Howard. Now, the Philadelphia Phillies are ranked fifth in the NL East in projected rotation ERA. Their projected 2021 ERA is 4.36. That is the worst projected ERA out of the five teams in the NL East. Now, I was a little surprised. I thought the Marlins might be a little lower than the Phillies, but... Projected-wise, between these three websites, the Philadelphia Phillies are the worst team ERA-wise in the National League East in their starting rotation. The fourth-ranked team is the Washington Nationals. Now, that shocked me when I crunched the numbers as well. But to consider why they are is the back end of their rotation. And that seems to be the issue when it comes to their ERA being up there and ranked fourth in the NL East when you rank them. When I crunched the numbers, the projected ERA for the 2021 Washington Nationals ERA is 4.35. And again, the reason for that is the back of their rotation with John Lester and, and Joe Ross. Obviously, the big three is Max Scherzer, uh, Steven Strasburg, and Patrick Corbin. Those, they did have good ERAs, but their bloated ERA total projected in 2021 was because of Joe Ross, Joe Ross and John Lester being basically 4.8 and higher projected ERA between the two of them really increased their ERA in total based on the three uh, totals that I got from these websites. So the Washington Nationals are ranked fourth in the NL East, started rotation, rotation ranked. Projected 2021 ERA is 4.35. Now, I still think they're going to be better than this, but um, again, I'm crunching the numbers based on statistics that I got from these three websites. The Washington Nationals are ranked fourth. I think they're going to be a little higher, but at the end of the day, their rotation can be still be pretty good in the top three with the top three guys in their rotation. But their ERA projected in 2021 is 4.35. And in 
And that's what we got with the Washington Nationals. When it comes to the third ranked team in the National League East, it is none other than the Miami Marlins. Now, obviously, the Miami Marlins, they made the playoffs last year in the short in 2020 season. They surprised a lot of people. Don Manley did a great job uh, managing this team and putting them into the playoffs. They struggled in the playoffs, but they made the playoffs. The Mets didn't. The Phillies didn't. The Nationals didn't. So at the end of the day, it was the Braves and the Marlins. So you got to give credit to the Marlins. They are ranked number three in the NL East as the starting rotation in the National League East, ranked number three. And their project, projected ERA of 4.26. Obviously, they got the big-time prospect in Sixto Sanchez, Sandy Alcantara, Pablo Lopez, Eliza Hernandez, and Trevor Rogers. That rounds out their rotation. Their projected rotation, based on these three websites that I looked at, this is the the five guys that are starting in the Marlins rotation, they are ranked number three in the NL East. And I think they can quite possibly be better than that. Only because Sixto Sanchez and Sandy Alcantara can really dominate games. And we've seen what they can do in, with Alcantara the last couple of years and Sixto Sanchez last year. He was he just came up and he took, the, took this... The, the league by storm. It was really nice to see. And again, the Mullins are basically the kryptonite when the Mets, when it comes to the Mets, for some reason, the Mar they have a hard time beating the Marlins over and over again, especially when it comes to big games. We've seen it in 2016, we've seen it in 2007 and many years after that, they just seem to always kill the Mets. And with those two guys at the top of the rotation with Alcantara and Sixto Sanchez, there is, it's not a surprise that they can be ranked third in the NL East with their starting rotation. So again, the Miami Marlins projected number three in the NL East with a 4.36 ERA. When it comes to the number two ranked team in the National League East based on the starting rotation, it is none other than the Atlanta Braves. Now, as you know, the Atlanta Braves starting rotation, they always find a way to have starters. They always done with Maddox, Glavin, Smoltz, go on and on and on. They always found a way to find pitchers and good pitchers in that throughout their minor league system. They continue to do that. They are ranked second in the NL East based on these three websites. With their starting rotation, projected ERA is 4.08. It's a, it's a decent ro uh, ERA when it comes to a total rotation for the Braves. Obviously, the Braves signed Charlie Martin, which is is I think is going to be a big time move that's going to help them this year. That's probably going to be a pain in the rear end for the New York Mets. You know, obviously Mike Soroka, one of the better young pitchers in the game. We saw that terrible injury injury he had against the Mets in 2020 when he torn his Achilles. Max Fried is obviously the ace of this staff. The lefty is a big-time pitcher, young as well. And then they ran out the rotation with Ian Anderson and Drew Smiley, which they, ha I think, have a really solid rotation, a dangerous rotation. If Max Fried and Mike Soroka stay healthy, that is a big-time plus for the Atlanta Braves. And it's a detriment to the New York Mets. Now, obviously, the Mets offense is going to be better this year. But again, you know, their one, two, three for the Atlanta Braves is Max Fried, Mike Soroka, and Charlie Morton. That is a dangerous rotation. They can easily take a series with those three guys, not including their offense that is already really, really good with Ozuna and Albies and everybody else you can think of and Alcuna. It's just a big time team that the Mets have to take over to win the NL East. So the Atlanta Braves are ranked second in the NL East projected pitcher rotation 
ERA is 4.08 in 2021. Atlanta Braves ranked second. Now, when it comes to the number one ranked team in the NL East, there's only one team left. And guess who it is? It is the New York Mets. The Mets rotation, based on the numbers with these three websites, came out to be the number one ranked NL East rotation in the NL East. And their projected ERA was 3.89 when you crunch the numbers. Now, obviously, they took numbers based on the last couple of years. When it came to Tyron Walker, that helped a little bit when he went to Toronto and pitched well. Obviously, the Grom's ERA was under two, under three, when they projected his numbers for 2021. Carlos Carrasco is a solid number two. And just so you guys know, this rotation does not include Noah Syndergaard. This is the projected road f- starting five in the rotation on opening day. So that includes Jacob DeGrom, Marcus Stroman, Carlos Carrasco, David Peterson, and obviously Tyron Walker. So they are projecting David Peterson to win out the fifth rotation spot from Joey LaCasey. So the New York Mets obviously can have a really solid rotation this year, especially if everybody stays healthy and could be even better when Noah Syndergaard comes back. So it is looking good for the Mets. The rotation is number one ranked based on RotoChamp, MLB.com, and ESPN. Crunching those numbers, the New York Mets are ranked number one in the NL East. It is nice to see, especially when you project the, op- the lineup and the offense to be very good as well. I like this. It's it, it makes me very excited, especially when spring training is starting and uh, the rest of the players are coming in tomorrow. It's a it's a really fun thing to see. The New York Mets ranked number one in the starter pitching rotation ranks in 2021 with a projected ERA of 3.89. This was the National League East pitching rotation ranks for 2021. I will be doing a a video soon about the National League East projected offensive lineups. And I'm going to crunch the numbers again from a couple of websites. So we just don't use, I just don't use one. I like to use three and I crunch the numbers and give you projected offensive stats and we're going to rank them from five to one just like i did with the with the starting rotations i want to thank you guys for watching i want to thank you guys for your support don't forget guys if you enjoy this video press on that like button if you enjoy my content you want to see more you want to get notifications when i go live and when i post my videos hit on that subscribe button everybody i want to thank you guys for watching and as always let's go mets